Today I'm going to show you how to get your photos from looking all boring like this to looking more like this. Let's go! So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how I edit my photos. So in this video, we're going to do a live example, walking through, doing a live edit. We're going to be using Google Photos for this video, so if you don't have it, i give you a second to go ahead and download it. Alright, let's go. So, we're going to go ahead and open up the Google Photos app. And here I have a picture. Um, it's not a bad picture, uh, but it could be better. One way I like to edit photos is to actually give it more of a cinematic look. And if you look at this picture, it's kind of flat. So, what we're going to be looking to do is kind of bring out some of the details, make it punch a little bit more and give it more of that cinematic look. We'll just go down here to edit. And we're gonna go down to adjust. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the contrast. And I usually like to break, bring the contrast up a little. So as you see already, it's already giving it a little bit more pop for the picture. We don't wanna overdo it and make it look too unrealistic. So that looks about good to me. So next what we wanna do is you want to go over to the highlights and I usually like to bring the highlights down a little so that'll blend it out a little bit more we'll take it all right that looks good next to the shadows and the shadows I also like to bring those down a little and as you see that puts a little bit more punch on the picture so we go from we started out here to there so you can already see this getting a lot more dramatic and I'm um, giving it more of a cinematic look all right so the next one is important is we're going to go to the blue tone in the background we have this a sky in the picture so a lot of times you can use your blue tone to kind of give it more of a blue appeal to it so we're going to crank this all the way up it did put a little hint of blue in there so that looks good then we're going to go over to pop next so this is what's going to really make the picture stand out so if you look, you can take it all the way over and it just looks very, very um, unnatural. I don't like that look. But if you give it just a little, it's going to really make that rain in the front really stand out and be a focal point. So that's very important for this picture. So we're going to leave that there. And then we want to go over to the vignette. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually focus your eyes towards the center of the picture and kind of blur out the edges. So it's kind of subliminal, um, you don't really think about it, but it's actually doing that just by it being dimmer around the edges. So we'll just do a little, we don't want to do overkill. 25 looks good. So let's go ahead and hit done on that. All right, so as you see, that already looks 10 times better than how the picture looked here. So this does look good, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to crop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna over to this icon here we're going to actually change the shift of the picture so on the bottom we're going to slide it in a little and we're going to slide that side in a little and basically what this will do is it's going to put a different perspective on the picture so we're going to actually it's going to actually appear that we are lower than we actually are so if I hold down on the screen it gives you a preview and as you see, that makes the picture a lot more dramatic than if you were just to leave it like this. So I'm gonna show that again. I'm gonna hold down on it to give you a preview. See how that brought us in closer to those, those raindrops that are in focus? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. All right, so you see that. And let me go ahead and save it. So as you see, this picture looks very nice like this. So I just want to do one more thing and after you've done all your edits and got it, it looking as clear and crisp as you want it, you can go back to edit and um, Google has a lot of nice um, filters that are already built in. So one of the key ones that I use after I've got all my adjustments in is that I like to go and if you look at the pre-made filter called West, that gives it a very, very nice kind of cinematic tone to it see how it looks without the filter and then if you go there it gives it more of that cinematic look to it so 
you guys let me know get in there with your Google Photos and try some of these things out you might have to play with it depending on what scenery you're looking at but those are some of the key features that you would need to change to get the look that I usually use on my pictures and after you do that watch this video right here it's going to give you some great tips on making some beautiful photos with your smartphone and until then later <laughs>